stop comparing yourself to others. Hey everyone, Cody here, and I just want to talk to you about something that I, I see a lot of other artists, but just people in general, doing that I have been doing a lot myself, and that is comparing myself to others. And not just in life, in some esoteric way, but even as artists, it's very easy to look at your art and think that it's not good enough, both internally, but also based on what you see other people doing. And lately I've been finding myself doing this a lot. Like, I look at other artists on Saatchi Art because I sell there, or I look at other artists on Instagram and or Pinterest, and I, and I think, wow, these people are doing some amazing things. And I compare both the art itself and the work that they're doing to the work that I'm doing. Or I compare their successes, how, you know, every time they sell something, especially if it's for a decent amount, like thousands, I've never sold a, a painting that was worth more than a thousand dollars. Now, a thousand's a lot, don't get me wrong, but that to see other people sell similar sized paintings for thousands, it's not about the money, but at the same time, like, that money goes a long way. So, recently I've been finding myself doing this and I'm, I'm putting this video out there in hopes that if anyone else is going through this or if you have those feelings that kind of resurface and, and, I, and I face it too but I wanted to say it so that you know that you're not alone those feelings are so self-destructive um, and sometimes when I start getting wrapped up in this where I think that when I look at other people's work their work is so much more intricate than mine or so much more colorful or the, the technique just looks cooler I start to think wow they are doing really well and their their art is really good and mine is garbage mine is junk <laughs> mine is worthless and Again, I've been kind of noticing how much this has been affecting me uh, and the work that I do recently because not only does it affect just you as a person, but, it, but that bleeds into the work that you do. And you either start to hate the work that you do, you start to hate everything you do, or you just don't want to create at all. And this is kind of something that I've been going through for the past few weeks where I've seen all these other artists and, and even with the successes that I've had over the past couple weeks of selling some paintings, it's, you know, I see other people and I sell them, I see them selling, you know, multiple paintings as well. But, you know, when they're able to make a full-time living off of that and I am not, that frustrates me. Now. I'm not saying that those people don't deserve their successes because uh, I know some of them have been painting for years. But there's also people that have been painting as long as I have and they're already making more than I am or their art looks like it's significantly better than mine. And I think that there's two problems with this. One, it, it makes me feel inferior and so it makes me not want to create. But also, it makes it so that when I do create, I just feel like there's no point and I make the work and I just hate everything that I make. So what is the whole point of this video? The point is is that if you're if you're in this cycle right now where you where you see everybody else and it seems like everybody else is having more success than you or their stuff is better than yours, just stop just stop right now. Just stop thinking that. But also you need to find out what the root cause of that is. So for me, I realized that I was just looking too much on, on social media and, uh, and I was just looking at all these other artists. And basically, what I realized is that I had lost focus. So as an artist or a creative person or just a person in general, you know, we tend to kind of shift our focus on the things that aren't important and instead of putting our time on the things that are important. And this is especially true for creative work because I found that when I'm focused on all these other things that other people are making, then my work starts to physically get worse. Not only that, but I start to try to blend in all these other things that other people are doing because I think that what they're doing is cool, not because it's true to me. And it's not what I 
want to do or it's not what I know is is authentic to who I am and so I start blending all these other things and I'm not saying that you can't try stuff just to experiment to to learn the process or something but it's all about the intent right so if you branch out and just try something and maybe you find it accidentally or maybe you find something and you're like oh that's really cool I want to try that that's fine but if you start doing things because other people are doing them and they're having success with that, or you're doing other things because other people are doing something better than you, then you start to lose focus, right? Your work suffers. Either the quality goes down, or if you make anything at all, you just, you hate it. Or at least that's, that's my case. Maybe I'm alone in all this, and that's fine, you know? But the truth is, I don't think I am. And I think that a lot of creative people deal with this. So the message that I want to convey is that you have to find out what the root of it is and then cut that off and redirect the attention. So first is identifying what is the real problem. The problem for me is that I feel like after having made so many paintings, I've made over 100, but I think it's pretty close to 200. I'd, It'd actually be a, probably a good idea for me to go back and catalog exactly how many I've made. But regardless, I feel like in, in myself, I feel like I should be more successful than I am. And that's totally selfish. It's totally uh, narrow-minded thinking. Like I'm not putting in the effort because I'm not focusing on the work. I'm focusing on what I feel entitled to. And that's not how the way wor the world works. It, the world doesn't you know, reward us based on how we feel. It rewards us based on the effort we put in. And so for me, I was seeing other people, you know, on Saatchi Art selling all these uh, paintings uh, for lots of money, or I see these people on Instagram selling paintings left and right, or I see all these um, different types of styles on Pinterest that just look way cooler than mine. And I think, wow, I could, uh, you know, uh, they, of course they're doing well. They, deserve it because their stuff is so much better than mine but that's not the case all right your stuff is probably good it could probably be better because you can always work on it but it's probably good so first off you need to recognize that 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 thought is fake right a lot of these self-defeating thoughts that we have are just they're self-inflicted right so you need to identify the fact that that is not true okay this isn't true the fact that your stuff is worse than someone else's yes maybe you're not as practiced as someone else or maybe your techniques techniques are not as clean or you know maybe your you know you could you could improve on this area or another that's always probably going to be the case like a hundred percent you will always be better or worse than other people but that doesn't make it that your stuff is not good Okay, so first you need to recognize that your stuff is good. Second, despite the fact that you may need to improve, where you're at right now is a product of the work you've put in. So if you want to get better, that's fine. Improve, put in the work, but don't compare it to other people's because you will always feel like a failure or the inverse, you'll look at other people's and say, wow, their stuff is garbage and mine is amazing. You start to get almost a god complex or at least some kind of arrogance right so here's the key stop looking at everybody else's stuff so for me i had to realize this but then also kind of put into play some practical things to kind of eliminate this feeling because i got the feeling when i started looking at all these here's another a perfect example of what I'm talking about and they did a study on this somewhere I, I can't quote the study so maybe maybe I'm making it up I don't know but if you if you've ever recognized this in your own life then it'll resonate so if you look on Facebook uh, or even Instagram a lot of people like to post their best stuff right so they post all their vacation photos they they post all their you know their new clothes or their new things or you know they post all the great status updates of how their life is going they post all these great things and it starts to build in you some kind of resentment right it is because they're looking for some kind of validation online that they're probably not getting in real life well the truth is is that Instagram and Pinterest and all this a lot of that's the same way so social media 
it can be a great marketing tool, but it's a double-edged sword, okay? It's great for reaching potential people. It's great for sending out a positive message, maybe like this one. But it's also, it leaves you susceptible to feelings of inferiority, okay? Here's the key. You need to cut out the stuff that's making you feel like that. And you need to focus on just putting in the work, okay? I had this realization uh, just very recently because once I realized what was causing it, um, by looking at all these other people's successes, I realized that as much as I love following these people, I actually had to stop. So maybe that's me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you have to follow, stop following me. And it sounds mean. It's not that I don't want to support other artists, but I'm not here to compete with other artists. I'm just here to put my best work out into the world and hope that someone will like it enough to buy it. I mean, that's really it. And I give pieces away for free too. So it's just, I, you know, I'm not competing with other artists. And when I look at their stuff and gauge it towards mine, I will always lose because I'm going to find some kind of flaw in my own stuff and then I'm going to focus on the wrong stuff. So here's what I had to do. So basically, uh, I had to stop following the artists that I thought were really good on social media. And so that means I had to unfollow a lot of artists on Instagram. Um, I had to unfollow a lot of people on Pinterest. I had to basically stop following those people on social media because I love supporting other artists and I even buy art from other artists. But if I'm always looking at their stuff, it's always going to somehow look better than mine. And so I had to take them off. And, you know, for those people, I'm probably not the ideal follower anyway, because I'm not there to buy it. I was there always to look at it and get inspiration. But the problem with looking at things for inspiration is that it starts to affect the way that you think and feel about your own work. And it affects the way that you work on your own work. So, honestly, I had to stop following them, and it's probably best for both of us, because yes, I was following them, that's great, it raises their numbers, but I wasn't going to buy anything anyway. Well, most likely, right? I, I think there's a lot of great art out there, and if I had tons of money, I'd probably buy some from everybody, but I'm not their ideal targeted person anyway. Not only that, taking all those pictures off my feed helps me not stare at dozens of other you know, paintings or pieces of art that, yes, I do think they're cool, but staring at it over and over and over again starts to mess with your head. So I think it's great if you go to a gallery or you go to a museum and, or if you even see it every now and then. Maybe you watch a video about art. That's cool. That's, that's fine. One thing at a time or one event where you see a bunch of art at one time is not a bad thing. But people are on social media every day. And they're looking at those pictures every day. And so it starts to get ingrained in you that their stuff is better than yours. So you have to cut that out. Or at least that's what I'm recommending and that's what I did. So I took all, I stopped following those people. And as much as I care about them as people and artists, I just, I can't follow them or else I'm going to compare my own work. And I'm going to start to try to manipulate my styles to fit other people's styles and not do what I love, do what's authentic to me. Uh, for some of these sites where I upload art, mostly Saatchi art, I basically had to just stop watching or following other artists because, yes, every now and then you'll get a great idea by seeing a piece by another artist, but honestly, is it worth you feeling like crap about your own stuff to see that one good thing? That's for you to decide, really. So... I, this is what I would recommend. I would recommend cutting down, following other people, other artists too much. I'm not saying you can't follow anyone. I'm not saying you can't look at their stuff occasionally. But don't look at it every day. And the second piece of this is not only cutting out the stuff that's pulling you in this direction of feeling this way, but also redirecting your attention to the work itself. Just focus on Getting better at your craft. Getting better at what you do. Stop. You got to put the blinders on. 
You know, you got to put the headphones on. You got to basically drown out all that stuff that's that's pulling you away. And this feeling of of comparing yourself or feeling inferior, that's just one piece. I mean, there's a lot of things competing for our attention. There's a lot of things that that we as people or artists just eat us alive, right? Make us feel like we're not doing a good enough job or whatever, right? So you got to redirect that attention to the important stuff, to the stuff that matters, to doing the work. I hope that makes sense. And I apologize if I wasted your time, but I don't feel like I did. And if you really like this video, please like, rate, share, subscribe. And I know I'm telling you to subscribe, but only because I care about you as a person, as an artist, and I want to see you succeed. But if you following me would be a distraction to you and would not benefit you, then don't do it. All right, uh, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I uh, I wish you all the best. God bless. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.